horse-drawn carriage through the centre of Vienna transports visitors back to an illustrious past. The ride takes in Parliament and the Burgtheater, historical buildings that date back to the Austro-Hungarian Empire and continues on to the Vienna State Opera, a building full of musical tradition. Stars like Rolando Villason and Anna Netrebko regularly perform here. The new director of the opera, Dominique Meyer, wants to shake things up a bit. He's reinterpreting a number of traditional works. We've done a lot already. I'm trying to go one step at a time. I don't want to change everything just for the sake of it. I have a lot of respect for the music scene in Vienna. It's absolutely unique. In Hotel Sacher, opposite the opera, Elisabeth Gertler takes care of guests and musicians before and after the shows. She's also in charge of the Spanish Riding School, one of the oldest of its type in the world. When you're here, you almost expect the emperor or empress to come out in person. There's a danger that you become too caught up in the tradition, and that can quickly become unattractive in this day and age. So you have to carefully consider what you want to hold on to and what you should change. There's contrast all around Vienna. On Stephansplatz Square, the city's cathedral is reflected in a modern glass facade. In the second district, not far away from the Prater, with its famous 65-meter-high Ferris wheel, is the city's newest glass tower, designed by Parisian architect Jean Nouvel. It includes a hotel and an upmarket design store. Distinctive furnishings are for sale here. There are also two top restaurants, one on the top floor and one on the ground level called Neni. It's one of the in places to meet and be seen in Vienna at the moment. It's where Haya Molchow, along with chefs from eight different countries, prepares her very own brand of international cuisine. She traveled the world for seven years researching recipes now used in the restaurant. I was curious about other cultures and wanted to get to know other cuisines. The guests here are also a mixed bunch. Whether young or old, rich or poor, in Neni, artists, politicians, students and celebrities all happily share tables together. Formula One legend Nicky Lauda has his theory about why Vienna remains a big attraction. It's because Austrians enjoy life. I would say that nostalgia plays a big role in our lives too. We're a cultural city with opera, theatre and more. But there are also great places for young people, like here. Art buffs can go to the museum quarter to get their fill. There are some 60,000 square metres dedicated to art here, all on the old site of the Emperor's horse stables. There really is something for everyone. Whether it's Art Nouveau works by Egon Schiele, or the best of Vienna's avant-garde. Designer Erwin Bauer enjoys working here. His art adorns some of the arches. It's all about the contrast, of course. A dynamic scene has now developed here, and a Viennese style almost exists already. I would say that it's typified by a careful approach, as if we're trying to protect or treasure something. And it's also about rediscovery. On famous Wienseiler Street, Art Nouveau architect Otto Wagner created the Naschmarkt, the largest market in the city. This is where Haya Molchow does her shopping. In between the market stalls, she has another very slick restaurant. It's that mix of young and old that makes Vienna so exciting. <laughs> 